What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaliyah J. If you're new here, if you're not, hi, ARMY. I love you. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I get these baby hairs, these soft, wispy, curly baby hairs. Um, these have been super duper popular lately. They've been popular before, but as of lately, a lot of people have been inquiring about how you do this uh, curly baby hair look. Um, so I did not, I didn't make up this trend. Um, the two people that I mostly see wear this trend or where I got my inspiration from is Diara and also Jada Chivas. They wear their baby hairs like this religiously, like this is literally their style. And um, one day I tried it and it was just like, <sighs> I was like, oh my God, I'm never going back to the other baby hairs. <laughs> Like it was like literally it just changes your look. It just makes you look so much softer and I feel like it just goes with any hairstyle and it goes with any outfit. Um, I really, really, really love this. So today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve my soft baby hairs. <clears throat> I'm also going to be reapplying this lace. This is a wig that I already wore and all the products that I use are going to be listed down below. So make sure you guys are checking that out. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, um, I put my wig on. It's not um, glued down yet, of course. But um, before I put my wig down, like glue it down, I want to tell you guys some things that I highly recommend if you want to achieve this style. So for one, I highly recommend you to use HD lace, okay? This is an HD lace wig. I believe it is. That's what the damn vendor told me. She probably was lying. Um, just because HD lace is just gonna give it that more realistic effect. Um, HD lace is super, super thin. And um, either HD or transparent, I believe. Um, I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional hairstylist. So I'm just telling you the things that I learned myself. Um, so I highly recommend that. Um, the next thing I recommend is for of course it to be plugged like every wig needs to be plugged this is a wig that i've been wearing for about a month now <clears throat> what is it? Is it a month yeah it's a month now so this is a wig i've been wearing for like a month now and it's been really really good so um but yeah make sure that your lace is plugged um i'm just reapplying this one and then also um, something I highly recommend before gluing it down is for you to know your placement. So for this style, you don't want your wig too far next to your eyebrows. The last time I did my wig, it was a little too far down and I didn't like the way the baby hairs look. They kind of look like a wig, you know, wiggy. Um, but when you push it like because this is not normal baby hairs that are gonna be laying flat on your head, they're gonna be up. Um, you have to like, you know, make it look realistic. So when you put it all the way back, not all the way back, but just not all the way on your forehead where it's touching your eyebrows, it looks really nice when the baby hairs are like um, messy. So that's something I highly recommend. Do not put it far because usually I would put my wig like something like that, but that once the baby hairs come that's going to be too close to my eyebrows so i'm going to push it back just a little bit um i think it just looks more natural when it's not literally like right on like like right there you get what i'm saying and honestly wigs in general just look natural when they're a little tiny bit pushed back not on your hairline but you know Okay, so I'm gonna take this um, contour powder that I use for my makeup. This is the Hula Benefit Contour Powder. powder, And this is in the color Caramel. This is what it looks like. Um, mine's is really old. I like hit pan already. But this matches my skin perfectly. Um, so I like to use this on the lace because sometimes the lace can get like a little light and it's a little too light for my skin. Okay, so I, I just colored the lace just with a makeup brush. Um, I took it off and did the inside. Um, so now I'm gonna put it back where I want it to be. And I actually really hate 
reapplying uh, wigs that are already worn. I really, really hate it. It's hard because the hair is just be all over the place. And because it's HD lace, you can see like the lace, um, the th I don't know what it's called, the fabric. It like, it does something, I can't explain it, but. So now I'm gonna take, I put my wig where I want it to be. So this is where I want it to be. It's gonna look like that. So I'm gonna take some of the hair and just pull it back like that. And this is where I'm gonna start putting the glue. So I'm gonna take some glue on whatever, the comb. And I'm just putting a little bit. I'm not putting it all the way to where I think it stops because that part is super tedious to me. So I'm just putting it, I put about three layers. I put about three thin layers. I don't want it to take forever to dry, so I put thin. So I'm just gonna continue to put the glue in all the places and I'll be back when I'm ready to lay it. Now that it's dry, I'm gonna just lay that down like that I didn't have to move it because I already had a place where I wanted it so now I'm gonna go in with my baby scissors and I don't know if you guys can see this so look you see like these little like hairs, I mean not hairs, the, the fabric. That's what happens when it's an HD lace. The fabric starts to like, I don't know, every time you wash it and reapply it, it like does that. So I'm gonna just snip the tiny, tiny, tiniest bits, tiniest bits of those off. And then I'm gonna continue to just glue the rest of that down. Okay, so I just finished flat ironing my hair. You see how when you put it like back like that, it looks really natural. Like I just feel like it looks so natural. So, oh I gotta, I gotta clip this little lace right here. I actually wanna cut the ends to make it more like blunt. So I could do like that type of like um, 80s, 90s curl. I think that would look nice. <laughs> Um, so now it's time to do the baby hairs. I fucking love like where the lace is. Like, I, honestly, you guys, I haven't been into lace. I mean, I haven't been into baby hairs in a while. So, so you guys, I just finished doing my makeup. Um, so I'm now gonna do my baby hairs, okay? These, like I said, this was a wig that I used already. So these baby hairs were already um, cut and placed already so I'm gonna be using those baby hairs so the key to get in the wispy um, curled baby hairs is to basically it's a basic you can basically like just act like you're about to do your normal baby hairs you know put your hairs down or whatever and cut them long like this so these are like really long um, if I was to do swoop baby hair like that, I would cut these way shorter than this. But yeah, the trick is to have them a little long. I'm gonna start, so I'm doing baby hairs right here and I'm not doing any baby hairs on this, uh, the middle of my forehead. Um, so I'm gonna take one section, which is where I would put my baby hairs like that. I'm gonna take that section 
and it's about this long to my eyebrows so you want it to be that long and i'm gonna take a really 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 skinny flat iron um so the one that i'm using is by eap heats I, al I also have this other one which is so much more smaller than this one i like this one too um i'm actually gonna turn this one on this is my first time trying this one so i'm gonna try this one it's already hot and i'm gonna take the baby hairs and i'm literally gonna curl it like that like literally curl i'm gonna do it one more time so i'm gonna curl it just like that <clears throat> and then i'm gonna take the next section and do the same thing just like that and then i'm gonna take the sideburns which is my longest piece. And I'm also going to curl this as well. Just like that. <clears throat> oh, oh my God, I burnt myself. And I'm gonna just curl. That one is really long. These sides are really long for some reason. I don't know why, but if you have to cut it, just take a razor and an eyebrow razor and just gently shorten it down this side is really long too i'm gonna shorten that down too i'm gonna curl this part over Oof. like that and i'm gonna take this section and curl as well and then I'm gonna take the sideburns and curl okay so now you like this so now I'm gonna take my baby hair comb and I'm going to start like just playing with my baby hairs. You see how that just fell in form? I'm literally just gonna like play with it. So it's almost like doing your natural baby hairs, but they're already like curled and bent the way you need it to be. And you don't have any product on the baby hairs. So you can actually put product. So you can like curl it Ooh. sometimes you might have to go back over it and curl it again just to like get it how you want it so like that i like the second way i like the way i curled it the second time so i'm actually gonna leave that and i'm gonna probably flatten that and I'm gonna take a little bit of the got to be spray. You could also take just regular hairspray um, and just use a little bit of it to just like, I'm not, I don't wanna lay it down, but I wanna tame it, you know? So I'm using that to do that. So you see how I tamed it, but they're still very much wild. They're not like laid down. So I'm gonna do that on this side as well. <clears throat> now you're gonna have to curl over to get it how you like it. So that's the trick. So I'm gonna spray and So I feel like this side is too long, so I'm gonna chop that down a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm gonna curl. Oh shit. So 
feel like that. That just looks much better instantly. Okay. So that curled right into place. And I'm just like doing these ones over because I didn't like it. Okay, so that one curled right into place for some odd reason. Um, so it's just this one. I always have one troubled one, and most of the time it's this one. Okay. Okay, so this is the finished product. This is what my hair looks like. It's cute. I think the main focus about the soft baby hair look is that it just is not supposed to be like looking hard and laid down on your head. You know, I really like this look and I think that it goes with my face and my head shape more than uh, the other baby hairs. So I'm gonna continue to do this, so. Um, you guys were really requesting this, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know down below what you think. Give this video a thumbs up for me. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.